So if we choose <coughs> if we choose n, then we have t i minus a half pi That, that, that may be the only one. Well, I know this equation is right because of the next statement. So I must have made a sign error somewhere previous to that. Because if this is, if this is, <coughs> If this is reversed, then my PIs are going to cancel. It's not going to cancel, it'll just be a negative sign. It should be. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. L let me just finish working it out. I don't think we'll see it. We'll see it. How, how it okay. Yeah, so. Um, so then you just have. Yeah, so I guess <coughs> we could multiply the, you know, equals to, I'll just not write that down. But yeah, yeah, so before we had, it was minus t plus 2t, right? Minus t. So there's a, the equation's off by a negative sign somewhere. I mean, I could multiply, I could multiply the whole thing. This would fix this side, but then it would mess that side up. So there must be a sign error somewhere. I'll, I'll track it down. <clears throat> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll figure out where I made the sign out. But because if I multiply the whole thing by the negative sign, then this side looks right, but then, then I've reversed the sign here. No, I'm saying I can, okay, well, what I'm saying is I, I thought I could fix it by multiplying by a negative sign. Right? I can multiply both sides of the equation by minus one, didn't change the equation. I thought that was when I said, let me work it out. That's what I thought I was going to do. I said, let me just work it out, and then I'll multiply everything by minus one. 
Well, it fixes this side, but it breaks that side, right? So, so there's a, there's an error in the in the derivation somewhere. That that would that so it should be the other way. <clears throat> so uh, let me tr I'll go back and look at my notes and try to figure out where it went. But. <clears throat> Including the sign error, in the end, depending on if we choose it, uh, n plus 1 for the implicit method and n for the explicit method, we end up with the same equations that have, in the end, the same matrix form. Okay. <clears throat> and then the mixed method is just the, the, the linear interpolation of the two, just like last time. It probably goes back to the very beginning, and just the way I drew the flux vectors, I probably reversed the sign on one of them. <coughs> so we'll end there. <laughs>